Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel. Good morning and happy Sunday. Okay, happy Sunday and hopefully you all did get a chance to set your clocks forward. How they say fall backwards, spring forward. We're in that era. Okay, kind of feels the same to me but I'm sure I'll feel it on um, Monday <laughs> when I'm at work and I'll be like what? But what you can do to try to catch up on that missed hour go to sleep one hour early okay and then it should level out in some ways um or it might trick your brain into thinking that you didn't lose any sleep but the trendy news of the day and then yes i'm a little late but it just is what it is girlfriends boyfriends seems like the real is being canceled that's what we're hearing on these youtube streets and social media outlets yes i wonder what adrian balan is going to do now they say she has her own clothing line i think jewelry line and she's doing music with her husband and uh, this that and the third but more than likely i believe she will be trying to get on another talk show because you can only promote your business, especially if you're doing it online. Um, huh? Okay. Especially if she's doing it online. You, you still have a lot to basically, you have free time on your hands unless you're trying to develop a new product. And you have to do your research and all of that stuff. And where you're going to market it, what, who, and what age group, what demographics you're going to market it to. But. I canceled the reel a long time ago when they left. I'm sorry, not when they left. When they let Tamar Braxton go. Okay, and I think these two women have a lot to do with that. Especially Lonnie Love. She says her hands are clean, but I tend to think not. Okay, because the show really had been going all the way downhill since she left. I mean, they've had different people come in and try to host and sit there thinking their job was going to be permanent. But little do we know or did we know it kept the, the it was called the elevator just kept um spinning around and around the escalator or oh, was the elevator okay elevators go up and down escalators go well escalators go up and down too with a swinging door so i'm thinking where you can push it and it just swirls around that's what i'm talking about so yes we after tamar left it was those four then i think t uh tamara had something that she knew Lonnie and um, Adrian and possibly um, Jenny were cooking up uh, was probably the reason why Tamar left. You know, it was just it wasn't the people saying Tamar was ghetto because uh, quiet as it's kept lies, I'm going to speak it out. Uh, Tamar was the show. <laughs> And some people just can't handle it. Because I think Lonnie Love wanted to be the main focus, the main person. And I really don't understand how these professional people tend to want to get into the entertainment business. Even though I know it has a cost effective price of they want to be known. They want to be a part of the who's who. They want to be a part of the socialite, the scene of the industry. And it pays a lot better than going out there using your brain. All right. <coughs> And Lonnie Love, basically, I think her profession is, she's an engineer. So the lady is highly intelligent. But why she wants to sit on a talk show is mindless. Because you think her brain is, is not being fed from all the nonsense, drama, and topics they're going to talk about on a daily basis. And then she's a comedian as well. So she has some things she can be doing, I'm guessing, especially when it comes to her engineer career, her real profession that it should be. But somehow she is also in the want to be uh, in the comedy line of act, um, participating in that comedy industry. And to me, she's really not that funny. But I think Tamara just got tired of the cutthroat stuff and she bailed herself out because she's no longer on the show. Okay, because I think she had a lot to do or she knew a lot what was going on with Tamar behind the scenes and it kind of le left her hands dirty, but she don't want them to appear that she knew anything. So she felt like she needed to be at home with her kids, this, that, and the third, and she left pretty much and she could do it. I'm sure she invested well in her money, so she she didn't really need the show per se. I mean, yeah, Gabri Gabrielle um, Bouvier. I think that's her name. Garcilla. I'm sorry. Garcilla Bouvier. Now, I don't 
think she really need the money. I think she invested real good and married real good. But I think she is divorced. So cheers to her. She's still on the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So, I mean, they were trying. She seems like a Cynthia on the Beverly Hills Housewives franchise. Because I, I caught a few episodes. And I think I did some uh, commentary on it. But I, I got kind of got bored. I got bored. I got bored. Because, you know, people that got a lot of money. And then they act like they don't know what to do with it. And they just spend it so frivolously. I'm like, nah, I can't watch that. I can't watch it. I understand that mentality. So, <sighs> but the times that I did watch um, Garcia, she wasn't interesting. She really wasn't. She gave me Cynthia T's. And dealing with Cynthia for some seasons, that's enough. I don't need nobody else echoing and mimicking her demeanor. So, it just is what it is. I'm pretty sure she's, you know invested her money well and like i said she does have her six figure six figure salary with the uh franchise uh beverly hills so hopefully she it'll work out well she'll do fine okay now we're talking about Jeannie mai all right Jeannie mai is the last one okay because she had a baby black um black jeezy okay and uh i guess it's love I don't see it, but <clears throat> maybe some people can point it out to me. I just think she got, you know, tired of Caucasian men, and she wanted to have a little spice in her life, and she chose Jeezy, and she didn't, hey, she ain't messing with no broke, broke ninja, okay? She ain't messing with no broke ninja, all right? Yes, yeah, so they had a baby. I want to say it was a boy, I'm thinking. I'm not really sure. Maybe it was a girl, just is or whatever. Um, but yes, so, uh, she won't have a job soon, and y'all remember I did a, a video about Candy maybe transitioning into a higher position at Bravo, where she don't have to be cooning for the stage and entertaining, she's gonna be probably behind the scenes, and, um, Jeannie, Jeannie will be taking her place, so that's cheers to Candy. You know, she can become the, the uh, creative director behind the scenes. So, she can have a, her seat in Atlanta on the board. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, the Bravo franchise. But we got to wait and see. You got to wait and see. See if this show improves itself. Um, my uh, sources were kind of like, that will be in the works if it all pans out. And with Jeannie Mai not having a job anymore. And they're bi-coastal. She, she goes both. Uh, she has a home in California, she has a home, well, Ella, yes, I ain't fine, and she has a home with Jeezy here in Atlanta, and this is where they basically got married here in Atlanta, so she's trying to put down some roots here, you see what I'm saying, she's trying to put her foot in, one foot is left out, and another foot is going in another door, so, hey, uh, the streets are talking to you, streets are talking, barking, however you want to put it, that Gina Mai will be on the show on season 15, and she's already making her little cameo appearance in season 14. She showed up at Drew Sidora's, um, what do you call it, rededication ceremony uh, that her and her husband is partaking in, which I don't understand that either. You know, once you get married, damn, you got married. 50th anniversary, 100th anniversary, we can see those. But just rededicating yourself to something that's going to change each year because that's growth. The person's not going to stay the same. You wouldn't want them to stay the same unless they just totally um, uh, treating you like a queen or treating you like a king. And you just, oh, they can't do no wrong in your eyes. Then that will be wonderful. And it's no celebration that's needed. You just got a good thing in your life. But to each his own. They feel they need to do that. That's the Hollywood life. Um, but Juice, <laughs> Juice Adora need to keep her mama her business, okay? And Ralph need to calm down and sit his behind down somewhere and let her do her thing on this show. Because quiet as kept lies, I'm going to speak it out. I don't see it for her. I really don't. She's boring as hell. She seems like she want to get them hands, and that's another, that's another challenge and another pragmatic situation, okay? But we're going to go into... Um, let me see who had it. Um, I'm just gonna go off Hot 97 uh, radio uh, station. They had a uh, article written up about the real, and we just we just read we're gonna read a little bit of it, okay? Just to entertain us, all right? 
It says, um, it looks like one of daytime's favorite TV show, The Real, is reportedly being canceled. Reported on the Jasmine brand, there's no reason as to why the show is being canceled as of yet, but the show has been running for eight seasons, which will soon come to an end. The show has seen a few different hosts, but currently Adrian Ballon, comedian and actress Lonnie Love, television host and fashion stylist Jeannie Mai, and actress and model Garcia um, Bouvier sit at the table together. None of the hosts have confirmed the cancellation of as of yet but we'll keep you posted okay and my thing with that of course they're not gonna tell you that they don't lost their job because they probably try to secure other jobs <laughs> as you can see okay and here but um let me see Okay, so that was kind of boring. I don't know what they were talking about. I thought it was something that they were saying they heard a rumor that they ain't gonna handle jobs soon. But of course, usually when something sneaks out or peeks out to the main masses of the human race that are, uh, what do you call it, entwined with wanting to know the tea on celebrity news and celebrities at large, when something get out to us, it's probably the network um that we're talking about leaked it out okay so they know they just want to see how i guess the public will either try to boycott uh the show not being um canceled this that and the third because of the diversity of the characters or individuals um but i'm like girl the real has died gone put to uh, heaven or hell however you want to see it but um it just is what it is and like i said Tamar Braxton, to me, made me want to tune in to the show. And she, she had a lot going for her. A lot of people said she was ratchet, this, that, and the third. But I don't really think she was really ratchet. She was just, you know, funny and extra. And that's what some people like to see and hear. Um, and I'm, they, um, I'm going to BET.com. They had something stating that throughout the years the show have received accolades including a double NACP Image Award in 2018 and 19 and a Daytime Emmy Award in 2018. Uh, the Real started in 2013 and the show has since gone through a number of different hosts before landing its current roster which includes Adrian, Lonnie, Jeannie, and um, Garcia. Okay, if the show does not return, Bouvier's have a number of other projects in the works. Um, after making history at the first black woman to be featured in a prominent role on the um, Bravo's TV hit series, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, the 54-year-old mother of three recently signed a de development deal with NBC Universal Television and Streaming Entertainment through her production company where she would develop her own products for the company. Okay, so I'm like, I ain't no shame in um, Garcia game. She's securing the bag other ways. So that's why I really feel that no, they're not saying anything. But guess what? It is what it is. Okay, and their talents just have to take them in different other avenues. And um, I think someone did ask. Um, let me see. In an interview with BET on, on Friday, March 11th, co host, actress, model, and author of the forthcoming book, Love Me As I Am, Garcia Bouvier's, Bouvier's says the rumors are just that rumors. When asked to confirm the news, Bouvier's empathetically stated, It's a rumor. It hasn't been confirmed by Fox, my team, or anyone. So we like, okay. We will see because usually when the rumors hit that close to home, they just waiting for production to dot their I's, cross their T's, probably give out bonuses or revenue uh, like a service packet or whatnot if that does exist in that type of world. I don't know because I haven't been a part of that world ever. And don't really want to be a part of that world because it's too much. How you say more money, more problems? That's pretty much a fair statement. Um, then it goes on to say news dropped earlier this week that the popular Fox Time daytime talk show The Real has been canceled but without official word from producers or any other of the four co-hosts it has been hard for fans to accept that the show is coming to an end. 
Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. According to the gossip blog, the Jasmine brand, which cites but does not name exclusive sources, the beloved TV show has been canceled. The reasons were provided as to why the show is ending after eight seasons. Okay, and usually when the Jasmine brand uh, reports stuff as well, she's a credible source of media industry type of gossip and rumor. Uh, she's really on point, so I can trust her, and I can say, hey, they had their run. Eight years is good for really something that they they do that we do. They're just on a higher platform, and uh, uh, what do you call it? Their platform that they are on is on television, pretty much. And I don't think they say is rumors, just like we say is rumors, allegedly, and all that kind of stuff. But they have the big machine uh, providing them with credible information or when they put it out there they're just basically saying allegedly they're not really true if it's true or not they make their opinions such as what we do and they keep it moving so i don't know for all the haters that be hating on youtube bloggers this that and the third go hate on the, the big franchise people okay like bet go hate on them man, and tell them you don't like certain things that they be putting out there in the atmosphere that's just not true checking your sources and all this and that and the third because us youtube bloggers we don't give a shit i'm gonna tell you we don't <laughs> i know i don't i just put my opinion up there and just like you have an opinion when you're referring back to me trying to get my trying to get me together on a particular i'm talking about then i have my opinion as well so respect it i respect yours and we keep it moving okay but that's all i had on this particular uh commentary about the real is closing its doors is seeing the final curtain call and being erased from our minds and i'll tell you like i said i ain't really watched the real unless they had some celebrity on there that i really like or some um dust had kicked up over there that somebody was fighting in in house because they mom brought it for me <laughs> you know she, she just brought it for me i like her ridiculousness and she's spoiled as can be she's a baby of course of their family and it just is what it is but okay i'll talk to y'all in the next video stay tuned you know i will have more dropping bye bye